I want to join you on on that point of talking about um, Mother Sarah and Abraham and the description in Song of Songs uh, called in Hebrew, Akoti Kala, and called in English, my sister, my bride. Um, <clears throat> there's a time when Abraham enters Egypt. Uh, it's set in the early era of the Middle Kingdom period. It is stated in the narrative that because Abraham had feared that the Egyptians would take Sarah and present her to Pharaoh so that she can become one of Pharaoh's many wives, that Abraham says to her, say that thou art my sister, even though she is his wife. So many of Bible scholars and theologians have wrestled with this over the years so as to try to construe what's happening here. Is Abraham not trusting in God, right? Because God was with him since he made his exit from Sumer and told him wherever he goes that he will be blessed and those who curse you will be cursed. So what are you fearing? So there are some theologians that are asking themselves, well, is Abraham not listening to God? Is, is he fearful of the creator? Like, you know, what's the thing here? Then there are some theologians that say, listen, we have to be realistic with all things wisdom. It's of no uh, confusion, so to speak, that Jacob comes from Abraham, the original supplanter. Abraham says, I trust in God with all my heart, but I'm also not no fool. Egypt was a well-armed place. And some people even reason in that moment that more than Abraham was fearful of what the Egyptians would attempt to do with Sarah, Abraham was more fearful of God's reprisal upon them if they dare try to do that. So that's always something to consider, too, that people don't think about, right? Because when you, when you look at the character of Abraham, we say in the written text and even exemplifying the oral tradition that the character attribute that exemplifies most in Abraham is chesed, kindness, love. You know, at its root level, Genuine kindness and love is not about curating the needs of oneself, but it's always putting the needs of others before that of yours. So on what I would call an interesting twist on a narrative, a plot twist, we shouldn't look into it that Abraham is fearful of what the Egyptians would do with her. What we should consider in my mind that he's more fearful of what the creator would do with them if they lay a hand on her. But there's also something else that Abraham is relaying subconsciously because she was his sister, not physically, but spiritually. One of the things I've come to love over the years about the Hebrew language is that um, everything, everyone that is given a name that name shapes and molds who and what they are at the core essential level. So the word for brother is ak. Why? Because ak sounds good looking at a man and just saying ak. Aki. Sounds great. That's my ak. That's my aki. No. Ak in Hebrew denotes oneness. This is where we, we describe the unity of the creator where we say echad. Ahad, unity, oneness. Why does Hebrew as a language choose ak to describe a person's brother? Because your brother, who is not your physical brother like your homeboy, the people you choose to be your friend should be someone that you are intellectually, morally, and spiritually at one with. That is who you should choose to be your brother. So at the base level, a brother, and by extension, a sister, because there's not a different word for sister in Hebrew, is just a feminine form of the same idea, oneness. Brother is ak, masculine. Sister is akoti, feminine. Masculine form, feminine form, same concept, oneness. So when he says of Sarah, that she is my akoti kala, my sister, my bride. He's expressing two relevant truths. 
that this is my spiritual twin, that this is my soulmate, that this is my sister, that the unity that we have intellectually, spiritually, and morally is to truly say that we are one. And she's also his khala, his bride. And why is that remarkable? Because the term kala in Hebrew, when it is first used in the Bible, denotes completing. Hence, in the book of Genesis chapter 2, it says, and the heavens of the earth, yechalu, were completed. Chala came to completeness, came to perfection. So brothers, choose your wives carefully because the creator entrusts that if you go out and you seek a woman to become your wife, that woman is tasked with helping to bring you to your perfection, your state and estate of perfection. I'll switch it back to you.